What's going on guys? TTRX6 here back for another third party review and today we're taking a look at the Toy World uh, Highway. Uh, I believe this is TW03. Um, TWT03 I should say. Uh, yeah, so this is obviously, well not quite obviously, freeway from the throttle bots. Uh, you would only really know that if you've been following these Toy World ones. Uh, yeah, so this time he is a Maserati uh, SUV. Uh, I don't really know much about this SUV, just that it's a Maserati. So yeah, um, it's Freeway, uh, who used to be a Corvette. Uh, I gotta say, I don't mind the departures that they're taking, though I kind of wish that they were still their original alt modes. Uh, but this isn't bad. I mean, if you're gonna do it, make them all, you know, sporty SUVs. I guess that's fine. Because uh, every one of them except Shinebug has been an SUV of some form here. Uh, yeah, so uh, I don't know if this guy really classifies as a masterpiece. Uh, here's a masterpiece car for scale, and uh, an SUV definitely shouldn't be that small compared to a uh, Lamborghini. Uh, on the other hand, uh, I'll probably end up displaying him on the masterpiece shelf because he's a throttle bot and they were small, you know? So yeah, uh, the plastic quality on this uh, it definitely feels different than any of the other throttle bots that came before it. It feels a little bit cheaper. Um, but not terrible. Uh, he rolls pretty well. He stores his weapon in his alt mode, so I'm happy with that. One last size comparison here before we take him to his alt mode. Here he is next to DX9 uh, Rodimus. So I, I don't I don't really think that that looks terrible. Um, yeah, I think that that would work. Um, it's just when you start getting other cars, real world cars next to it, uh, it does look a little bit weird to me. So before we get on to transforming him, he does have a couple flaws and we'll hopefully try to address them along the way. Uh, but I do like this guy more than uh, my buddy Skullface who isn't a huge fan of him. But let's point out some of the problems. These mirrors here are not very well glued in. Uh, you can tell they were kind of glued in, but not with a good adhesive. Uh, so they do fall off. Um, I glued this one in. This one just has come out recently. Uh, so I'm going to have to do the same thing for this one. But let's get this guy transformed. Uh, at least start working on it. And we'll probably get to some of the other flaws here that he has. Well, we might as well show it. And I haven't looked at how to combine it yet, so I haven't fixed it. But this piece here on the front hood... Of course, it's not going to do it now. But... Come on, you can see the hood lifting apart here. This piece here just like pops off just like this all the time. And I haven't looked to see if it's supposed to pop off in uh, combined mode. Uh, once I actually do try to attempt the combined mode, if that is not the case and this doesn't come off, uh, it's just a simple put three little dabs of glue in here and, you know, it'll never come off again. But it is something to be aware of with this toy. Anyway, we start by bringing the hood down like this, and then we can go ahead and disconnect the arms like so. Uh, we'll come to the back here, and this piece is another problematic piece because it almost always will certainly pop off at some point in time during this transformation process. But I think we managed to get it done this time without this little piece flying off. And if you've had any of the other throttle bots, you know that that's kind of a common problem. So now that we have that, we can break this open like that. I really break. Uh, and fold this all up just like so. So coming down to legs here, we're gonna fold these on out and fold them forward. Uh, I think that's forward. We'll figure that out once we get there, but we can go ahead and finish the leg in the meantime anyway because it's just a rotation if we're wrong. Take this and this piece, one of the problems I have with Toy World is I can never really understand their instructions. So this is your rear bumper piece, it sits just like that normally and you're supposed to take it and this piece folds open to allow you to move it around real easy. But I don't quite understand what they want you to do with this back piece to actually make it look good. Um, so anyway, I just fold open the front here. And then I just kind of position this in a way 
to make it like a usable heel spur. Uh, just kind of like that. And I think that's really the best I can actually make this do anything meaningful. Uh, I'm not sure if that's official or not. Uh, because like I said, it's very hard to understand their instructions. So uh, we'll just do the other one this way too because it's a nice stable foot and that's all I really care about. So I believe we do take this and flip this around here. Yeah, just like that. So we were right to flip the legs in that direction. So we have this pretty close to being done. We'll take this piece here and kind of fold it around and plug it. Well, it doesn't plug, it just kind of drops down on this hinge into place just like that to kind of compact that back piece. Take this piece, fold his hand out, fold the mirror on around, and go ahead and pull the arm out. And this is another fault of Toy World. There's never any clicks here to hold it in place. Um, you know, it's really not a huge problem. But it's the same thing they have with their hard bone. I wish they would have figured it out and put just like a little soft detent in there so it went click and that's it, you know. Um, it's not really going to be a problem for most things, but, you know, it is just something there that does bother me. So from here, we'll take these gray pieces and bring them down so he's kind of making a W with his chest here. So from this W position that you've got going on here, we're going to flip this down, bring his head all the way around, and open up this top piece and kind of sit his head on the hood there. And now we can take this and fold this on in, and he's getting there. He's, he's pretty close to being done at this point. So before we fold it all the way though, we're going to take these pieces and disconnect them, and they're going to slide forward on this chest piece. So now that we have that, we can actually sit this whole thing down right on top and uh, it should peg in to the point that it's not really going to move around if you were to hold it, hold him by the head. So we got this, so the next thing to do, and this is a little bit tricky, um, if you look on here there's these little, um, and I don't know how queer they're going to come out here, you can see little, uh, trying to get my light here and I messed up the camera. If you can see them, there's a little like slot in there underneath the hood. That's designed so what's going to happen, we're going to put this in and then these things are just going to fold right on in on top of them to kind of secure the head in place and it's also going to give you the right distance on his chest here. Um, also while you're doing this, be very careful because these pieces here on the back are so sharp, uh, you will puncture yourself and hurt yourself if you're not careful. Alright, sorry about that, I have to refilm this part because the little red mirror came flying off. Anyway, so from this point, when you're here, um, you're going to take these, like, the W members basically that you made earlier and uh, just fold the outside piece of that said W. Uh, back up so it kind of meets the arm just like that and that'll close up the gap and there you go we've got freeway slash highway in his uh, robot mood and I think that that uh, ends up looking pretty good you know I, I don't mind it I think the chest could be a little bit better uh, I don't necessarily like this big hollow here but it doesn't look bad, he's certainly a robot, and uh, it's okay. Uh, the biggest complaints I have are these little red mirrors that kind of hang out here. So we'll give him his gun, and he does hold it just fine. Uh, it would be nice if it was cut, so it kind of, he held it better. But whatever, he still holds it, and that's what's most important. So, let's bring in our MP again here. Uh, here is... Side swipe, and you can see he is definitely a small guy, which is why I think he really works better for your classic shelf than he's going to end up working on your masterpiece shelf. Uh, but you know what? I still kind of like him. And uh, if I consider the throttle bots as sort of mini bots, which is really what the toys were, um, I think I'm kind of okay with that size for a masterpiece shelf. Um, if that, if you are looking for like some kind of representation of throttle bots on a masterpiece shelf. I know not everybody is, but definitely 
it's a better uh, classics toy than it would be masterpiece. So let's talk about his articulation here. Uh, the head is on a ball joint and swivel, but really because of the sculpt, barely any up and down on the ball joint. Um, and I said ball joint and swivel, but it's only swiveling because of the ball joint. I do really like the head sculpt there. I think that looks good, and we do have some pretty solid light piping. Um, not really apparent there, but when he sits in like an office or something and gets some sunlight, it does really do a good job on there uh, for most angles. The shoulder here is on a ball joint with a nice cut in there to give you a good range of motion on it, uh, especially if you're going up. Not perfect, but it's very good. Uh, bicep swivel in the elbow, no wrist articulation there. Uh, you do have a waist, but it's underneath the crotch piece, uh, which was part of the transformation. Would have been nice if he had a, an upper swivel too, but uh, at least he has something, and uh, as long as you're not too extreme with it, it doesn't look too bad. Uh, coming down to the, the legs here, they are on your swivel uh, and hinge joint there. Uh, no ratchets or anything, but it's not really heavy enough that it's going to be a problem. Thigh articulation, knee articulation gets you 90 degrees, and then the legs here uh, have a whole set of joints down here to kind of move the toes around and kind of swivel things around, so a very nice set of leg joints. If I had one complaint about this guy, it is the way his knees transform here, uh, which does make it at least a little bit difficult to find a way that the legs look you know really nice especially with all this leg stuff here um, but that's pretty much that's kind of nitpicking in my opinion I think overall you can find something that looks pretty good so let's get this guy transformed back to his vehicle mode uh, we'll start uh, with the top end where we, we finished with we'll bring these pieces back down just like so, and if this thing is going to pop off on us, uh, it tends to be at this point. So take that and unplug all that, bring his head right here, and I can never quite remember how this goes, I'm pretty sure it's just like that, um, but if we did it wrong we'll figure that out relatively quickly. So bring this piece up and we'll just swivel it back around so we have it the right way and we'll take these pieces and rotate them up here just like that and this should all be in the position we need so now we can take these and just kind of take them and fold them on back here like that here we go so we got that and we'll just pretty much leave that there until we're done the transformation uh, fold up the windows fold the fists in collapse that so again windows fist collapsed and we've got that done so we can take these and Actually, I think I told you to go the wrong way with these. Should be kind of like that, and you should see it all fit in just like so. So yeah, I went the wrong way with these W pieces here. There we go. So you can see we got the front of the truck pretty much done, uh, with the exception of the hood, but we'll save that for last just because it's one of the easier things to work with. So now we'll take this and it's pretty much flipping all these things so we can make it all go back together. So we'll flip the waist around here and I believe we need this joint out and this joint in. And then, no, I'm sorry, that joint inward and this joint out. Because then what that's going to let us do is fold that piece in and use the knee joint to bring it together. So we'll take this and before we go to that next step we'll work this on out because it's easiest to do it here and 
this little like slot piece connects with this piece right here to line it all up. So there we go, bring that down. Bring this in, and there we go. Slot it in, just like that. So now we're gonna take the legs, and I forgot to rotate this one. And you take this, and you swing it on in, and you use the knee joint here to close this all up, just like so. Again, dropping is an optional step. Not usually recommended by the manufacturer. So we got that. We'll take this back piece here. Swing this out without it popping off, hopefully. I think this is the first time I've successfully transformed this guy without that back piece popping off. So once we've got that, we just kind of have to work the magic where you get the trunk piece and the the windshield to line up. Take this. Uh, there are little tabs in here, so go ahead and get that locked into place. And then you can take this and kind of carefully work it into the little tabs over here. And you can see I had to pull out the windshield or the the passenger window is in the process, but that's okay. We'll now get that secured back in, just like so, and then close the hood. And if this little mirror falls off on you, of course plug that back in, and just take the gun, and you got no official hole, uh, it's just kinda got a, like a little notch there, and that plugs right into that little peg right there. And there you go, he's back in his car mode. And I can say I like this guy a lot more than I thought I was going to. Um, and I really have been enjoying each one of these throttle bots uh, alone, uh, let alone trying to see what I can do in a combined mode with them. Uh, Cause I'm sure I'm just gonna display them individually. But yeah, this is T2RX6. Hope you guys enjoyed the review and next week we'll take a look at that guy.